With Whizball, the inspiration was uh, Nemesis and Salamander, the, the um, arcade machines at the time. They were the latest things with the greatest graphics. And Chris was really into these games. And so the actual flying around stuff was very much inspired by that. The bouncing around part, which happens at the start, is something control system which Chris just invented. And one day I came around to his house and he said, hey, look at this, what do you think? I was like, yeah, that's, that's, that's cool. And uh, I think I ended up making this little green head, uh, which later became Whizball, and we, that was the art, you know, we just needed something which rotated. So we had the rotating head, then we had the things circling at the, what we call the catalyte. Uh, I mean, I really like the controls on Whizball. I like the two-player doing different things, working in cooperation together, because you had the, the Whizball like this and this satellite that went around it called a catalyte. And you could play it in single-player, controlling both. You could play it in two-player, and he, one controlled this and one controlled the satellite, which gave you slightly more ability to do stuff. And then again with the bit that when you collected the paint drops and then the paint drops were used to mix up paint and then you could colour the landscape. And this is the kind of the idea that I came from. Just about how can we, how can we build this into a world? So we'd have come up with first of all with the colouring the landscape idea, and then okay, these things we're shooting they could drop colours. I don't really remember how it worked because Chris and I would just talk. It was so natural we'd just have a conversation and the idea would come out. Design.